It's not a farewell prayer, but a word of Father. It's a prayer of togetherness. And we pray that, O King of God, may you continue to, to bring that dynamism among us in the mighty name of Jesus. May you continue to keep up the spirit to always have the back of, of each another. Lord, you are all that we have. Bring back this association council. Let the members be conscious. Let's build one community and stand strong through Christ. Well. We pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, uh, come, so. <laughs> it's come a long way. Let me start from the story. I don't remember the year, but it's been, you know, maybe is it 2001 or something. Yeah. We've been trying to do things in this place, you know, bring communities together one way or the other. I mean, it collapsed here, it collapsed there, it collapsed other places. And then we met, uh, Peter called me and a few other guys, you know, we met at John Sales. What did we do? I mean, <laughs> that day, we, I mean, we contributed our own money. Like everybody came with their money. We put it together, we invited Cameroon, Cameroon and said, we're trying to create something here. I mean, I've been in America for maybe 12, I mean, yeah, 12 years. I mean, tried the Cameroon Association, I tried that one there, tried that one there. It didn't work. Created council. And it was an effort. We had to run from one place to the other to, you know, sensitize people, run from one place to the other, sensitize, sensitize people, and then, I mean, the association got built. At one point we were, you know, like falling back a little, that's when we came in, and, you know, through your effort, I mean, you pushed the association to go, go forward, and it was so wonderful that, you, I mean, you came in at the right time, you came, we were getting tired, you know, you pushed the association forward, and you know, till today, you know, when we think of Kamsang, we think of that push we gave for Kamsang. I think it was that time when we had, you know, we had some differences over the Haitian earthquake. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but then that's when the, I mean, that was, that's when the association blossomed. And you did so much for the association. It, I mean, we ran until we handed over power. And, uh, Politics. <laughs> Run it down. Let me say something. When we started this thing, we said Cameroonians. We didn't look at the language, we didn't look at anything, we just look at you know wherever you came from. We just built the thing. And we managed it in such a way that you no, know, I mean if you build a country, you have to manage it delicately. Which means that you have to know the sensi I mean the, the sensitivities of people and things like that. And Peter, who is now the chairman of uh, the, the board of directors, you know, was the president at the time. So we managed it delicately, and through your effort, you know, we were able to expand it and you know, work and make this association what it was at the time. Till so, you know, the politics got into it, and I mean, we got to a point where they told us, "See, so we're running the place like Paul Bia runs the place. We should give it to other people." We gave it to those people, and unfortunately, instead of running it like a national association. I mean, it became something else. I don't, I mean, to be truthful, I'll tell you the truth. I was one of those who got discouraged. But then I'll talk to you and you'll say, no, let's, let's push it forward. I'll talk to Peter and say, push it forward. Me, will push it forward. Right now, I mean, I'm still like, I'm not backsliding, but I'm, I mean, I'm looking at things and saying, how do you start pushing this thing forward? What I'm trying to say is that, you know, you have contributed to this association, you've made it work. And we expect that as you go away, you don't go away, you know, like you don't go away from us. The association stays inside you. And you know, you could help us from anywhere you are. And if you have an idea where you are, say you want to form something like this, you know, we shall be there to support you. And you know, if we had anything which, you know, like got difficult for us, we'll call on your expertise, we'll call on your help. You're not going away, the person is going away but the soul stays with us. We want to appreciate your effort. We want to tell you, we are waiting for you to come back. <laughs> of your life in Massachusetts, and I'm one of them, uh, and many others.
So um, I, I'm, I hope that through my voice, you see the gratitude of all those people that you've helped. Not only uh, materially, you've helped, advised, and um, your, your life experience is also something that we're, we're, we're learning every day. Um, but to end my, uh, my mark is that as you move out, right, you both said you're running so, but there's also every association, even though there, there'll be a the point in the life of council that they seem not to recognize the people who were there like fathers and mothers. I want you to, to know that even though you're moving out, your name is still going to be in the association. Yeah. And I hope that when you call upon, that you respond. If you, even if you don't have the material time to respond, you can have the spiritual time to respond. But rest assured, and many people are talking about it, your name will be in the running, in the spirit, and, and you know, in many organizations, right, they have people, even this board that we're talking about, board doesn't have to be only people running the stuff, being able to. Board is actually people like you, who you've been there, you see how communities struggle, you supported them. So I want to tell you and just warn you that if you think that you're running away from us, you're actually putting yourself deep into us as you move out. Just so you know. That's all I'm going to add to what you said. a lot of good things to say, honestly, good things to say, but I will keep it for me and for her, because, you know, we are in a, in a different environment, it's, we are here because Kamsa want, wanted to, to make this, but all I can tell you is the passion that I saw with Mami Bridget, the passion of community services. Um, I remember one day when we had an issue with council, one of our, our executive members wanted to split the organization and she was the one who actually called us for an emergency meeting at her place. You remember who? And we all came there like it, it was a war and we came there and we were able to save the organization. So those are the things that I want people to know about Kamsa because a lot of people are out there, they have different perception. A lot of young people don't want to join because they were taught different perception about the, the, the community. But there are people that give them the, everything that they have. I cannot go too personal because I know my mom very well. I know what she has done and that's why I, I just thought that it would be unfair for her to leave this town without us, you know, taking a minute to recognize what she has done for us. So, mommy, I know like you're going, um, you are not going, you know, far away. You know, you're still very close to us and we want you to keep, you know, playing your role as contributor to, for your community. Not only comes up because you have done so much. I cannot even cite here, you have done so much for people if I wanted to invite a lot of people, this room would be full. But we wanted to be very, you know, very soft. But we'll have a chance one day to make it very bigger. But thank you very much for honoring um, by your presence. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, grandma, for being here. Because, you know, when we look a, a strong lady, a strong mommy like this, we know that there's a strong grandma behind her. And, you know, it, it's good that you are here to to, to, you know, to, to, to listen to what we are talking about because we cannot only wait when people are out of this world to tell what they have done. We have to tell that when they're still alive. And I think she, she deserves it. So thank you again, Mommy. <laughs> you know, as the divisional officer, he has some powers. You just come back and eat your truck to go 
bring me, do something for me, and my dad was okay. Mm -hmm. And that's how they became friends. Not only that, the brother is my best friend. He's been my roommate in this country. And uh, like I said, we are all, we are, they, that's my sister. Like, I'm not going to, no other way. So whether she goes to Timbuktu or she goes to <laughs> Kalamazoo, <laughs> if there's something, I will be there. But I want to just tell the person I know. The person I know is somebody with a good heart. It's somebody if you're in trouble, she will not hesitate to help. She's done it to me, she's done it to many other people. And I just want her to keep that spirit because that's your legacy. No other way. And that's how people are gonna remember you. The good deeds that you've done for people. And we wish you that whatever you're doing, that God bless you more. One thing again that impressed me. You have your head, I don't know. You are so creative. Your ideas, your initiatives. And I think I, people even don't, uh, don't understand you. But you are so creative. You have so a lot of ideas and good ideas. And I think one of these ideas that uh, brought you the way you are now in that track, which is really, 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 really good. Um, we just believe, as uh, the has already said, don't go turning your back. Maybe just go backward, facing us. So knowing that you will be, you still with us forever, forever. Wish you a safe journey for your home and all the best that you will be doing over there. Uh, I, I know you will be for Capsule Sick too. Thank you. <laughs> opportunity to meet her personally we have been you know we always meet when there are occasions we just pass by but as far as Kamsop is concerned I think you are one of the legend and forever you'll be a legend uh, to my understanding I go the same life the one my other brothers Mr. Peter Emil Pan and all, all that they have said <laughs> it's a pleasure when people testify of what you have done do not wait that go ask them what what have what have you done for me? Let people say that this is what you did and we appreciate it. It is more than 100 times an honor. I just want to say that we will miss you, but as uh, Mr. Peter said, honestly, it's a caution that don't go and forget about us. You should know that you have we are your children, we will forever be your children. If there is any way that you think that you can ever support us, do not spare that occasion. Don't spare that moment. We will always get in touch with you in times of, you know, celebration or in times of whatever, we will always get in touch with you. So I just think that uh, wherever you are going, you will not only be with us in spirit, but your presence, we will feel your presence, but we will know that at any time we can still meet. So I just want to say that thank you very much and may God bless you and God lead you where you are going and see you through every any other activity that I want to do. It will be a total success in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, but now I realize, I realize oh wow, that she was the one, actually. But thank you so very much for the job well done. We'll remember you 
Thank you so very, very much. No. Hopefully God will bless you more Amen. and give you the strength actually to move forward with your thoughts and all your good ideas. You will be missed, but it's just a flyway. Thank you so much. And Mama, thank you for having her as an audience and for giving us a and a lot of time. I will tell you, this is 75. When I moved to Massachusetts many years ago, I did not realize how connected I would be to such a... You all have been the reason I am what I am. All of you here have been so nice to me as well. You've been there for me, just like you said we've been there for you. Maybe what you were doing for me, you didn't think it was big, but it is huge. It is huge. Maybe what I was doing was just reciprocating to what you guys did for me. The community welcomed me. The community showed me love, and I was just giving back the love. And I would want to say thank you all too for, for everything. Um, there were moments where things were not as rosy as we would have loved them to be, but together we crossed all the bridges. We held one another's hands. It was not one person's effort, it was a collective effort from all of us. And I just want to say that that should continue. And I promise you guys that I'm not going away. We can work. We don't go away. The bond has been so strong that it's, it's really difficult to, to go away like that. It's true. So I'm just going to, to Texas. It's just a flight away, like she said. Um, how many hours, Ike? Like four or five hours? Oh, yes. yes. You're there. I'm going to McAllen, Texas. Is um, the city at the borders with Mexico. A lot of Spanish people down there, and it's a very good place for, for business. I already have the license to expand humble care um, over there and I went there several times. My sister lives there, my youngest brother lives there and they're doing well. So I went to visit them, I saw the place and I'm like okay let me see if we can bring humble care as well for them here. And, um, as God will do his things, we got the license, and that's the reason why um, I'm going to So, it's not like I am leaving, <laughs> like going for good. I'll be back and forth. Yeah. Um, see you. you all know my son-in-law, Ike. Yeah. He will be running Humble Care here with his wife, my daughter. Yeah. So, you guys, the way you took me and took care of me, I'm handing them over to you as well. Yeah. Take Absolutely. care of them. Absolutely. Yeah, and Ike, make sure that you stay in touch. Yes. No, you cannot figure out, you cannot figure out, you cannot figure out, you cannot figure out. I will only be a phone call away. Yeah. If you need me, call me. If I need you, I will call you. And I will always respond um, to the best of my ability. I will always fly back if I need to. And you guys are welcome. Fly in Definitely. if you have to. Yeah, I, <laughs> um, I will see over there if I come across opportunities that I think might be helpful. I will not hesitate to pass the message over um, so that everybody can, you know, see they can take advantage of it. So, thank you again. Thank you so much. I don't 
know if I can ever be able to express um, my gratitude for such a warm farewell. But God knows that I appreciate this so much. I wish you guys could get into my heart. And I love you all so, so much. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will need to remember this too. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, we have a, a little plaque for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, the gratitude of what you've done, not just for council, but for the community as a whole. And let, let me say one last thing. <laughs> I am so impressed with this place. He has been telling me about the restaurant that they're trying so to do in Lowell. Okay. Yeah. And in my head, I wasn't imagining this. <laughs> when I walked in here today, I was like, wow. Yeah. yeah. So. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. If there is anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to let me. So Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And I can tell right now that it will work very well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Let me, let me know to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mommy, um, we are an organization, so the way we do it is we have to do it properly. So, yeah, we can talk, but it's good that we give you something that if you put somewhere, people yeah. will recognize that, you know, you are a valuable member of this community. And I'm here with my board of teachers. He's a very active member in the, in the Boston region. And the reason why I'm here with him is because I look at him like Peter was looking at me. 18 years ago, when I was like, Come fair, come fair, come fair. So, I, I remember I was trying to help, you know, but teacher didn't, didn't work. He came, he came into the organization and he is just phenomenal. And I believe that, you know, uh, people always think that because I'm young, I haven't done anything for cancer. But I've been there for 18 years. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting tired too, right? So I'm looking, I'm looking at uh, you know borders and so that can take you know the organization and then try to do you know implement the way they want to implement it, bring something new. And teaching is one of the person that you know we are very counting on him. That's the reason why you know I'm not going to talk too much. But I want him to give this to you, you know, and to recognize your contribution to our community. My brain, just stand up for one minute. Uh, on behalf of this, uh, this is an honorable association council, where you don't labor on, you bear the association. You bear the association with all these patrons. I call them patrons because they are the founding fathers. Maverick, this certificate is an honor. And we want to say, anywhere you go, you will be an ambassador of Kamsa. for what she's, she's been to us. We uh, want to thank you for all the services that you've done to us, sister. I can call it sister, right? But um, my brain, you have been uh, wonderful. As I said, on a personal level, you've been tremendous and very helpful. I don't remember me that I called you when I was running Kamsok. And many times you said, hang in there. Uh, I want this to be a testimony of what you've been. 
and I hope that you accept it and um, <laughs> no, you deserve it. <laughs> that's that's the yeah. fruit of the hard work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And then we're going to eat. Yeah. 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 Please finish your story. I have a couple of these. Just in case you want to take money. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
think about offering her something to drink and the image of the restaurant, we all said, I'm going to get uh, a good champagne. What champagne are you going to get? Hold on. Just don't go here. Don't pay me. All of them said, I'm going to get don't pay me. And I said, it's, it's too bad now. Everybody has it. So I said, I'm going to get her a, a lantern. And this is a very good one. And I put this an upgrade of Tom Perry. I want to tell you, sister, that uh, I want this to be a image of Sahel. We are, we are not open yet. But I want to tell you that this is this is the kind of uh, champagne I want to be open to. On a serve. I want to serve here. Uh, it's an upgrade of Tom Perry, you know. Um, and I hope that when you live here and you want to speak about the Versailles restaurant, I want you to remember that. This is the level where I want to be at. I'm going to offer this to you. You may do what if you want us to drink it. No, I'll, it's, it's I will suggest to you to take it home and drink it. And every time you sip it, think about the rest of it. Yeah. Let it let it let just the thank you. Yeah. That's, uh, Put it, bring it down so they can see your picture. Yeah. No, take the cup. Take yeah. the cup. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we're going to put that picture up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that picture is going to stay up. You know, the very thing open. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, sister. You no go back to not. Uh, to uh, about, uh, I want you to know that. Um, the, you're going to take a, a lone picture mm -hmm. and, you, and, you, and you may be the, the mascot of the Cyrus. Yeah. Just so wow. Wow. I'm, I'm going to send you something to accept it officially. Yes. I'm going to put you at uh, for the rest of the restaurant. You're going to be the standing hold in this. Yeah. Just so the standard of the restaurant. No, you see, don't want to just give her this image here. No, he has a background. You don't have thought about it. But you go ahead and tell me. Take an image here and then you compare it to the backdrop. You know, you don't want to, I mean, let it look like it's not something you prepare for. Yes. That's okay. Did you prepare something? Put that picture up with that band, you know, yeah. and then, you know, we'll put a slogan on it. We will. That's why we did that. We will. So we will put the Sahel restaurant. So be there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Go ahead.